What's up, everybody? And welcome to this episode of Rex's Photo Booth Tutorials and Reviews. This week, we did a backyard tea party for 20 people, much different than our stadium event that we did for 20,000. But this app is so versatile, you can do both. You can see we had a trailer. Here's our setup for the event. There's the 360. We had it nicely in the shade. What was really cool about this event was that we were able to do live playback on external screen done wirelessly, which is so, so cool. And the way we did it, here it is. You can see the full gallery right there. I picked that video and how do we play it back? Let me show you. Let me walk you right over. We did it with Apple TV. They happened to have a TV on the wall and they wanted to be they wanted to be able to see the playback live. Not only were they able to see it live, but I could also play back any video from the gallery. Here is the setup of the 360 from a different angle. So let me show you step by step how we set it up. So open up your Luma booth and the first thing you'll do is you'll create a new event. I'm gonna name this 360 Setup. You name it whatever you want. We're gonna customize the settings and the first screen it'll take us to is the welcome screen. You can design your welcome screen here via text or what I like to do is I like to design in Photoshop and in this case, I created a background 1280 by 720 and I put it into my iCloud folder and I hit select. I choose the image and there you go. You see the welcome screen image. And this is what it looks like at the event on the phone. Then the next custom section is print layout. I won't do anything there because we're not printing anything. Then we'll go to capture mode, very important. I'm gonna turn off photo, I'm gonna turn off GIF, I'm gonna turn off video, I only want Boomerang 360, that's it. The next section is the capture settings, skip, photo, GIF, goes directly to Boomerang and 360. And I want my countdown to be five seconds, that gives them enough time to get ready and for me to give instructions. Then I will not check the uh, configure sensitivity because you can start recording based on motion. So if you have a motorized spinner, this is really good. Um, but it's very sensitive. It will start recording on movement. Then the next section is you can either do a rectangle 1280 by 720 or 720 by 720. We usually do 720 by 720 square because it uploads to Instagram or social media very easily. But for this event, we want it nice and wide. So we're gonna do uh, landscape 1280 by 720. And for the display, we want it to say, get ready. And then while it's recording, we want the recording text. And next, make sure you have the reverse box check because that's the boomerang. So it plays forwards as well as backwards. So that's the boomerang. And then you're gonna go into <clears throat> the recording duration. And this is the gist of the app. You wanna record somewhere between six and nine seconds. And the reason is anything larger than that will create a really huge file. It takes way too long to process and takes way too long to upload. Then in the next section, you'll see a box. You'll hit the plus button twice giving us three boxes. The plus button is next to the trash can. We're gonna have a beginning, a middle, and an end. And in the first section, we wanna select the box so it has the red outline. And we're gonna choose six seconds as the duration and two times as the speed. And the reason for that is when we slow it down, it'll be a big contrast. So in the middle here, we're gonna select the middle box and we're gonna do 0.25 as the speed and the duration we're gonna set to three seconds. And in the last box, we're gonna set that to two times. So it plays really fast 
on the way out. So there's a distinct difference and it calculates the duration by itself. You can preview in the app, which is really cool, but I like to do it live to get a better idea of what it actually looks like. Now we're gonna do an overlay. So you can say happy birthday, or in this case, Nancy's tea party. And I created that in Photoshop and I'm gonna hit the plus. It'll go into my iCloud folder where I put all the files and I'm gonna select the artwork. Then I'm gonna go to soundtrack where I have uh, royalty free MP3s that I use. And I put that in the 360 mi uh, music folder and I'll select the audio from there. We're gonna do jazz. And then you can also put a intro uh, video as well as an outro video. So before and after the video, I'm gonna do after because I want it to have my company name so they know who did the video. I will select that and then that's it. We'll go to the next setting, which is background removal. We'll make sure that is off. We'll have effects, make sure that is off. Stickers, make sure that is off. We'll go into camera settings where you can control the exposure. Make sure you're on video boomerang, not on photo GIF where it says exposure. And then you can adjust the exposure to make sure it's not too dark or too bright. I have white balance on. You can also control the temperature and you can also control the tint so you don't get weird coloring. So people don't look too green or too blue. And you can do all this visually, which is really cool, right? And then we're gonna go to the advanced section right here. I'm using an iPhone 11 because it has one of the best cameras. I'm gonna go to ultra wide. So we get a nice view where we can do uh, bigger groups, two or three people. And then in the stabilization, I'm going to have it on high because I don't want the shaky videos. Zoom, I'll leave it at one because I don't need to zoom in. I use ultra wide for the reason that I want to have large groups. And that's it for camera settings. Nothing else to do. The next section is print setup. We leave that blank because we're not printing anything. Then we're gonna go into email and we're gonna turn that on. And we're gonna test that, make sure that works. And then we're gonna go to SMS. We're gonna turn that on because we're gonna allow people to text to themselves. We're gonna turn off Instagram because I don't wanna deal with social media sharing because we're sharing directly from our phone. We want cloud sharing on, QR code on, AirDrop on, and Twitter off. The sharing screen, we want it on for 30 seconds after the video plays. We wanna be able to save the originals and we wanna display the retake button because some people say, oh, stop, stop, I don't really like that. We can hit retake. Then the next section is virtual attendant off, survey off, disclaimers off, and boom. Now we're ready to start our event. This was the welcome screen that we set up and check out what the video looks like. Here we go. There it is, that's the middle section at 0.25 speed. And in the very last section, Trailer, Mr. Smiley 360, our number on our website.